Hi guys, so the exercise what we are going to be talking about uh, today is uh, called basically stepping forward and backwards. Uh, the benefits of uh, this exercise is basically it trains uh, the whole leg function, uh, its stability basically to be able to step forward, back while maintaining the foot position, the knee position, uh, the pelvis in all planes of motion. So there are no contraindications as such uh, with, with this exercise, but if you experience during any of these some kind of increase of the symptoms, pains, please just stop and consult with your physician. So for the setup, uh, you're just going to be standing on uh, one leg. Again, three points of the contact. So uh, your contact or your weight should be spread in between three points of the medial side or inside of your foot, outside of your forefoot and just the heel. Roughly, you can imagine almost like two points and uh, you will try to maintain uh, the stability. Sometimes uh, it's a really uh, good idea just to stand like this and just try to balance and maintain it. Um, ideally, the toes should be just spread nice and wide. That's actually why I do not recommend uh, when you're doing this the real wearing shoes. Ideally, you should be in the socks or uh, just barefoot or have some kind of weird shoes like I'm wearing right now. So again, just toes, you can lift it up and let it spread nice and wide. Um, again, those toes shouldn't be gripping the floor, they should be just uh, extended there just for the little bit of sensory feedback and just maintaining this position could be actually just exercise by itself. Next one, if you want to challenge it a little bit more, what you're going to do, you're just going to uh, just reach forward while maintaining that foot, knee and hip position and then just reaching backwards and again just front and back like a little bit of shift balance is very normal uh, as you're going to do more of these you're going to get better you're going to get a little bit more proficient a uh, common mistake is uh, gripping with your toes so you are basically just trying to hold, hold for your dear life if that's the case just maybe use the other foot just just to experience that feeling of uh, just using those three points of the contacts while you, where your toes are a little bit relaxed. Uh, the other common mistake is basically just letting the knee collapse all the way inwards, uh, which is not even like the, just the pronation, but uh, all the way in and or when you are just going there, letting your ankle go on the outside, so all of the supination. So again, uh, how to do it correctly is lift your toes, let the toes spread around, just stay on the one leg and then just reach forward, reach backwards and just do it basically for repetition. So if this becomes too easy for you, the next step uh, would be just to do it, let's say from the from the step, so you would just use basically like 6 inch or 10 inch uh, step and you would be just standing on that and just going a little bit further down or further up. Uh, if you want to challenge a little bit of more of the frontal plane, you could go basically side or side. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. Talk to you soon.